Hey everybody, I'm Terry Burton over at the Robin's Nest by Terry. You're going to see a video coming up where I painted this cypress knee. It looks so cute for spring. I'm also going to show you that it started out in the swamp. You can see all the moss still on this one. Uh, my friend Cindy Wilson, her husband went out and gathered them for me, sawed them off, growing right out of the swamp. Here's where after they take the moss off and then you boil these. You boil them for two to four hours. That bark comes off. It's a nice, lightweight, very smooth piece of wood. So after that, then I painted it with all the different colors. They all ran together. And when I painted this, it just wanted to be a rabbit. All the features fit perfectly together. You know, the raised area for his hind leg, the little area here for his head, and then this indentation that was perfect for his ear. So I hope you enjoy the video. Stop back in because I've got more cypress knees to paint them. Just like that. And then she cleaned up. Oh, this one is still the same one, still dirty, but um, I don't have them all out. Then she cleans the bark and then you have to boil them for two to four hours and it takes it down to the raw wood. So that's what we're going to paint today. And I've always been inspired. We have a lady over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. Her name is Judy Dooley and she is Holly Ridge Folk Art. This lady is amazing. She paints Santas on these. She can't keep them in stock. I mean, they sell out the moment she shows them. Everybody wants them. It's a hot thing. But, um, so when I was down in Louisiana this past fall, my friend Cindy Wiley with Art, by Art with Cindy took me to a shop and the lady who had a booth in this shop had tons of these. She had them painted as the Grinch. She had Santa, snowmen, all kinds of different characters made out of these. They were gorgeous. In fact, I bought a great big long Santa face. Totally love it. So I'm going to try. I think, I think what you do is you try to figure out what it looks like. You know, like when you're up looking at the clouds in the morning and you're trying to find something, that's the only thing I can think of the way to paint it. So you look at it and you let your imagination try to figure out what it wants to be, which is sometimes how I paint. Sometimes I just start painting and then it is what it is. But he reminds me of a chocolate Easter rabbit. So I could put a face right here this would be his ears going up this way and see this curve here that would be a really cute hind leg but what i want to do with it is i want it to look like he's peeking out <laughs> i'm really reaching here i want him to look like he's peeking out of this piece of wood so i want to encase the wood with different colors and i couldn't figure out what color because i wanted easter so I'm gonna do a rainbow of pastel colors. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I have no clue what I'm doing, but it, it'll turn out. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited about it. I've been thinking about it all night long. Hi, Amy. Let's see. There they are. Uh, all right, let's try it. So what I basically want to do, let's, the only time I thought about it was last night in bed while I was trying to sleep. Okay, let's just go for it. And it turns out, so let's, I like to do, um, Kind of like a lemon, have a hard time. It's early for me. Let's see. 
I don't even know what to call it. You know, when you go different colors and they all blend in, whatever that means. Let's see. So who knows? Can you believe it's already after Christmas? Valentine's Day has been really good too. I love Valentine's Day. I don't have my latest Valentine thing out here. But this is unlike anything I saw at that shop. It was called Cajun Village. Really nice place that Cindy took me to. And I didn't see, of course it was in November, so I didn't see any Easter. Do you know that you can go on Pinterest and there's nothing about Cypress Knees painting? <laughs> I was kind of last night thinking, uh, I, just give me some kind of idea, some kind of something to kind of go with, but nothing out there for Cypress Knees painting. So I may have the only one on Pinterest. And some, some people have researched it's against the law to pick them, saw them off if, um, you don't own the land. So I, I don't know how hard they are to come by. Ah, uh, Darla, you're more, um, more positive than me at the moment. Okay. So I just want to take a wet brush and kind of rub these colors together so that they blend into each other. like kind of reminds me you know like a crystal or something how it just all kind of flows from one to the other let's rub that in so one of my new year uh things is i'm a person that doesn't like to get out of bed and get up and around until about 10 in the morning because i stay up really late but I'm gonna learn how to start going to bed earlier and getting up earlier. Oh, it, it kind of reminds me of, oh, what were those things called when we were growing up and they grew in a fish tank? That kind of, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But at least those colors really blend in nicely and add a little bit more here and there. And then, of course, when I posted that I was going to do a cypress knee, Judy saw it, and she's like, oh, I want to watch it. And it's like, oh, man, you ever, she's like the expert of cypress knees. And it's like, oh, I got to do it justice. good except for where I got all the yellow up on top. All right, so I see <laughs> it's one of those games where I see something here. Um, I have a better brush. All right, I see a face here. In fact, if you look, it kind of goes down in the shape of a rabbit's face. And then these ears, let's grab some more white paint. It's gonna be colorful. I guess if I if I didn't want it so bright, I could tone it down with a little bit of stain. Let's 
See the pop, see the rabbit popping out of there? Oh, he would have been cute as a chocolate rabbit too. Hi, Charlotte and everybody. Thank you all for waking up so early with me today. I know you were all shocked when you saw my post at 6.45 at 6. Uh, make sure you saw that it was a.m. So I want him to be peeking out. So parts of his body are actually going to be covered because I'll go back and shade um, around him so it looks like he's kind of just peeking out. I guess I'm feeling pretty confident doing this one because I can't believe I'm doing, I don't even paint rabbits that often. Ah, <sighs> uh, thanks, Linda. I do, do you ever get into whatever you're doing and it just kind of creates itself? I like when that happens. You just let the piece talk to you and tell you what it wants to be, basically. But I can see him forming, so that's a good thing. Now I gotta figure out what color I wanna shade with. Oh, you know what would be cute is, oh no, I'll do it with modeling clay. I can form a tail and actually get it indented in there. Hi, Michelle, thank you. We're all holding our breath, including me. Let's. So I really wanna thank Cindy. She sent these to me. She sent me seven of them. Three of them are clean, four of them I have to boil to get the um, bark off of them. But since she was so nice to send these to me, I'm gonna paint them up. Probably won't paint them all at once because I wanna do a snowman, a Santa, you know, all the things. And then I'm gonna let her pick which one she wants because I'm, you know, she had to pay postage and all that. So I just really appreciate the opportunity to just try it. Hey, I think that looks like a rabbit's body. I know it's hard to turn because it's not flat Hi, Christy, you're up early too. <coughs> yeah, I don't want too much black either. Let's try it down here first. Pull this out so it looks like he's in it. Guess I should have looked up some terms. So if you're a fish swimming around in a aquarium and you're underneath the coral pieces hanging out. So I do want it pretty dark. I'm anxious to get it done and put it on Pinterest. It'll be one of the first bit of pink 
here in his ear. Now we'll kind of bring him to life. All the fun stuff begins now. I only got 10 minutes, so I think I can do it now. Um, I don't have any red. Hold on. Oops. I can touch down with a little bit of brown. Let's make him more not primitive, but kind of darker than what we were doing. And then I'll go around and line out his, the whole thing. I know they don't have pink bellies, but this guy kind of wants a pink belly. And I'm even going to add in his, add into his feet there. I like that. Then I'm gonna pound some white on there. Give it a fur look. It's not a good brush. And I guess he will have more of a pinkish brown nose. I don't want it black. I start hyperventilating with a short brush, so let's see. Let that dry up just a little bit. Then we'll finish the eye, but I will go around the entire piece. Oh, I need, I need some lettering in here. Ah.
got my brush in my mouth. I can't talk. A little bit of highlight here in his ear. And right there. Let's do this eye. You know what? It would look really cute if I took um, um, and went over, left the rabbit exactly as it is, and went over the colors with some diamond dust and let that those colors really sparkle. I will be putting a picture of this up when I'm finished. Because I still, it's going to take me a little bit to get him exactly the way I Kind of like a grapevine wreath, but some little, that will add to it. And then a little heart will hang off of that. Oh, but he's adorable. And to finish it out, and I will post a picture then I'm going to put it on Pinterest because it's the only one on Pinterest. And I can't say that very often. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Same thing as driftwood. Because I remember driftwood as being really lightweight. My mom brought some home one time. And I remember she took those glass balls. I remember the glass balls. I don't know what color they were. But they made like a grape arrangement. So they used the um, the driftwood as the top of the grapes. <laughs> I'm really I'm really stretching it here, but there was such a thing as grapes and the driftwood, and I know there were other things that they did with driftwood, but I that's that's kind of the whole feel that I get with this is the driftwood. I could go visit Marianne and get driftwood. I don't know if I want to do it with this pet first, though. Actually, hold on. the grapes too so they are loose sight I don't think I've ever ran into any at the craft or at the thrift stores oh I like the white added in here it's lifting those colors up
think it would be about the same to paint it. I don't know. Driftwood could be the next hot item that crafters use. I think I'm going to drive out to Oklahoma City this year. That way I can drive through Missouri. There's some shops and things that I would like to go through. Since it kind of turned into a girl here, do just a couple of little lashes up here. And I don't like that eyebrow, it got a little too wide. Oops. Let me get it over there. Just put one flower in her hand. We'll make it like a um, one of those droopy flowers. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Uh, oh, Sandy, do that. And I want to see pictures of it. So, yeah, I could see where it would have more dips and things in it. I kind of like the way that Judy Dooley does hers. I went into a lot of detail. And Judy's is um, you know, mainly red because it's a snowman. And so it just has the face. She doesn't try to do a whole body on it. So the whole Santa outfit, of course, is red. And then, like, if she sees something like this, maybe it's a... Uh, bag of toys or you know always something different on hers so she just kind of picks and chooses the area that she wants hers to put in there some white with this one. When I thought about what I was going to do on this last night, I was going to put Easter eggs on it. I mean, down at the bottom of its feet. But with, with just a flower, now it can stay out past Easter. Cute. I'll touch that with a little bit of orange after that's dry on the edges. Put a couple of leaves in here.
And then what do I want to do with that little necklace? I put the necklace in there before I thought about doing the flowers. Let's just put some little dots that represent flowers. I have the pink and yellow. And some purple ones. blue. That way we incorporate all those colors. That looks pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to add just a little bit of orange to those petals because I want to spray this for you real quick and show you how it's going to bring these colors out. And then we'll add some diamond dust to it. That's pretty exciting. Um, thank you, Cindy. Exactly, Mary Ann. Get him out there to help pay for that boat. <laughs> Get here here you go. Give him a choice. Do you want to work the glow forge or would you like to go fishing and bring me back some driftwood? There you go. He'll probably take you up on the driftwood. Alright, I just want to touch a little bit. would be easier than going to Louisiana. At least you can just pick that up. In, in Louisiana, you gotta actually take a saw and cut the darn things off. And it doesn't look like they are that easy to cut. You can see down here at the bottom, it's got a lot of grain to it. Eh. Maybe I don't like too much of the orange in there. Let's just hit it with some white and be done with it. the center of the flower. And let's put a little bit here in the ear. Some shine. So let's start at the top and kind of just like it's dripping down from the top. And just dip it in the uh, diamond dust so it's really sparkly right there. I think I might have to squeal. This one turned out so pretty. So now it really looks like a rock formation is kind of what it's going for. So I'm going to just add in a little bit here and there. Oh, now I'm excited to show Judy. I've been nervous all day to show her because she is the queen of Cypress knees, but I'm pretty good with this one. Let's add a little bit in there. Oh, 
So it probably will be in the auction on Friday. The auction starts at, uh, the auction starts at nine and ends at nine. I'm in hopefully be able to put it up. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. It, even the colors, now that I sprayed it, are just like soft, but it looks, I don't know how to say it. It looks pretty, but it looks, I don't know, kind of jewel toned. Ah. Uh, I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever painted, to be honest. <laughs> I really do. It doesn't uh, dull at all. You can see from the front, it still shines. Ah, uh, it looks like a like coral. Those coral formations, the sea monkey people. Oh man, thank you, Sharon. It is. Um, yeah, it is the Cypress Knee. Oh, I don't know where I'll put it, though. That's my thing. I can't keep it all. But it is... Oh, I, I took a lot, <laughs> a lot of time on this one. Um, better make another one. It did. Oh, I've never painted a hummingbird in my life. I'm not sure that I could do that. Uh, Pam, I do. I don't say that about a lot of my things, but the colors are just spot on. Where I took out all that black, but it still left a little shadow, and they just meld together perfectly. I wish I could paint a hummingbird. It would be pretty. I should try to learn that. Um, hmm... A cypress, you want to see what this started out as, Linda? My friend Cindy, who follows me, sent this to me right out of the swamps. This is what it looked like before. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it went from that to that. I might have to have her send me some more. She said that she would. I might have to buy some off of her because each one of them, which is what's nice about these things, is each one of them will speak what they want to be. And, you know, it's a part of nature. And I always say, especially when it comes from nature, that it kind of speaks to you on what it wants to be. And when I had first seen this, I thought, oh, I'll paint snowmen, but it just rang out rabbit to me. So they they are the roots of a cypress tree. And so what happens, I did look that up, is the tree grows, but the roots grow up. They don't grow down in the ground like a normal tree. They grow up and then these stick out of the swamp. So Cindy's husband went and actually cut these off for me. You can see, I guess they're pretty tough to cut. Some places you can't even, they are, I don't know, what do they call that? Where you're not allowed to cut them unless they're on your own land. Um, yeah, Pam, you can buy them on Etsy. But maybe we can get Cindy to take on a part-time job and supply everybody with these. Oh, Sherry, did you do a lot of them? Uh, a church. Oh, my gosh. Oh. A church would be beautiful in the same colors to go with the rabbit. Oh, I wish I had more time. Oh, thank you, Jane. So, um, hmm. I don't, Linda Worth, isn't it pretty? Oh, I am. I am on everything just worked out on that. <laughs> You're checking Etsy. Yes, I will message Cindy Wilson, who she was on here this morning. She's the one who sent these to me. And I will tell her to go on my page and 
sell a few of them. It just looks like, you know, if you open one of, did you ever go and we used to live beside a railroad track and we would go and look for, um, we would do the rock collection thing. So we'd bring them home and put them on the sidewalk and you would break them open to see if you could find the ones that had the sparkly things in them. And you could, every once in a while you could find them. But we used to do that a lot as a kid. So I'm just going to go right in a few of these, just like you were looking into a rock. And you see all the pretty things just floating out of it. But just not everywhere, just a few little areas. Oh, man, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh, I'm kind of blown away by what I just did. <laughs> That's so crazy, but it is, it's so beautiful. And more than likely, I am going to sell it on Friday because I just don't decorate. Oh, yay, yay, yay. I am so happy with that. Oh, <laughs> it's adorable. <gasps> oh, um, huh. Yep, it, it reminds me of crystals, it reminds me of coral, and the rabbit turned out pretty cute as well. So, all right guys, I'm gonna kind of put this in front of my paint table because you know, inside of my painting membership. You can see it one more time. Oh. It's just, just the little hint of sparkle. It's not overly, overly done, Oh, it doesn't even show you up close on that yellow part. It sparkles so much more in person, but just the little pieces of sparkle. I'll try to get them to sparkle for you. And the tail. All right, ladies, I'm going to let you go. We will be doing another one soon. So thank you, everyone. I appreciate all of your comments. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.